Hello! Hi. It's me. It's Welcome to another video inside the internet where I like to make my videos. Uh, today is uh, going to be a kind of a different video because it's a video that I've actually already made once and I spent bloody ages making it, but... And here it is. Uh, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, so we're going to have to make a new video with the same stuff in it uh, on a new hard disk because uh, I made a cool thing. Actually, I've made quite a few cool things recently, uh, but all the videos of the cool things that I've been working on have gone away into the abyss of the dark soul of the hard disk. So you can expect to see some videos coming up now with remake the videos that have gone. I'll try and do my best to make it realistic. But today's video is going to be quite an easy one. We're going to start off with a simple one, a uh, control for OBS, Open Broadcasting Studio, so you can like switch cameras and shit. If you don't know what Open Broadcasting Studio is, it's a uh, software that you can use to uh, record video. But sometimes I want to switch the cameras and the way I have to do it at the moment is by using a mouse. I have to click with the mouse, really annoying. Especially if I'm using the mouse for other things. Uh, I did try for a while to use the numpad, but that was kind of problematic because if I was showing something where I was writing code, for example, and then I started typing numbers, then all the cameras would just change and that would be really annoying. Problem is, um, I've got a bunch of keys on my keyboard, but uh, I'm actually using all the keys, especially keys like A and B and A. So the keyboards actually have a little secret that they are not telling you. They send scan codes. What are scan codes, Daniel? Scan codes are very, very short little codes, like a number, basically, that just tells the computer this button has been pressed. And on the internet, we can look up the scan codes. Here, a list of scan codes. We've got keyboard A and B and C and so on. They're, you know, I'm using all those. And down here, we can see we've got like F1, F2. But if we scroll down here, down to 68 and 69, nice. we can see keyboard F13. What is that? I haven't got any of these keys. That is a good thing, because that means I can make my own keyboard that has only these keys. How am I going to make it work like a keyboard? It's not difficult at all, idiot. All you have to do is uh, use one of these, a uh, Arduino Pro Micro. The most important thing about them is that you can program them to show up as a USB HID device, which means you can program it to pretend that it's a keyboard. We can program it to send these key commands. Uh, <clears throat> so I decided to make a dedicated controller that ended up looking like this, and this is how I made it. First, I used Rhino to draw a basic box and some circle holes where the buttons were going to go. And then, I used Lightburn uh, to fix it all up a bit and uh, some bits. Then it was laser time. Laser time! Forgot to film that bit though. Sorry. That was easy, let's write some code. Here's the code, not a lot going on. Uh, here are the different uh, keys that I want to emulate. Um, I just make sure in the setup that I set all the uh, buttons to be have pull-up resistors connected to them. So that just means that we can connect one leg of the switch to an input pin, a digital pin, and the other end can just be connected to ground and then we can read when it's been pushed. In the loop here, we just uh, go through all eight inputs in this for loop, check if they are on and check if they were on last time. And if they're on now and they weren't on last time, then we write one of our keys 
the key that corresponds to that button uh, as a keyboard. And that means if I go to my hotkey settings here in OBS, then I can uh, use these buttons here. And you can see that that button registers as F16, this one registers as F15, and so on. And now I can control OBS by pressing the buttons. Brilliant. Wait. We can also make it a MIDI controller. Why don't we do that? As I didn't think of that before now, but let's make a MIDI controller as well out of it. It's easy, just needs to change a bit, a few lines of code. It'll be easy. Okay, I didn't have to, I didn't, okay, I've done it. Didn't have to change much at all. Look, uh, I just had to add this library, MIDI USB .h. Then I needed to make this uh, array of notes instead of the keys F13 and F14 and the stuff we had before. And then just send note ons uh, where it was sending keystrokes and flush. And then I had to do one little tiny thing to make it so it doesn't glitch out completely when you push the buttons. I had to just add uh, this debounce thing. So it has a, it, it checks basically how long it was since the last time something happened with the button. And it won't let things happen like ridiculously stupidly fast because that's what debouncing is. Look it up, just Google it. Google debounce, don't worry. Just... Look, I'll Google it for you. There, there it is, brilliant. So, let's see if it works. Spoiler, it does. Enough! So that's how you make your main OBS controller for, without for a work some dollars for one dollar or two six i can't remember how many dollars it's cheaper than buying a car i'm gonna be making loads more videos of the videos that have been lost inside the hard disk uh if you want to get the code and all that crap that's on patreon uh thanks bye, bye.